Hi, so in this video, I'm going to be running through how you can do quality assurance uh, in Zendesk using uh, a combination of Sweethawk apps. Uh, so in this video, we'll first run through how uh, Sweethawk apps allow you to do customer surveys, uh, and then we'll look at coaching surveys to help, uh, you know, when, it, when, it, when a ticket is completed uh, by an agent, then it will automatically send a survey to the uh, and the the manager or the team of managers to, to fill out and that then once that's completed it will feed that input back into the original ticket allowing the um, agent to continually improve on what they're doing. Uh, then we'll talk about how you can set your agents up for success, not specifically around the feedback, but actually um, instilling uh, automation uh, and, and process uh, and, and, and SLAs uh, on your ticket to ensure that things uh, are uh, performed in the right way and in a timely manner um, so that you know this helps get better uh, outcomes from your surveys. And then finally, we'll look at how all of this data kind of ends up over in your Zendesk Explore for reporting. So uh, here at Sweethawk, we do have a uh, suite of apps that is available to install from the marketplace. And for uh, QA uh, today, we'll be talking about these four apps, mainly tasks and survey for spinning up uh, the surveys there. But, uh, you know, Notify is great for pinging uh, agents uh, when uh, something specific happens on a ticket that they should be knowing about. And Timers is really good for the time-based workflows and ensuring timely responses. So let's get stuck in and have a look at a real-world use case. So here we have a ticket. I haven't um, uh, kind of responded yet, but I'll be responding to this ticket. Uh, and then we'll see what happens in regards to the surveys um, so you can have uh, a, a, the survey app spin off a, a survey this and this will be point one we're asking the customer um, uh, how they would rate the ticket um, or not uh, and that will be sent out straight away in a, at the same in the same breath we've also spun up a sub ticket here that is um, uh, requesting a uh, the manager team uh, provide a response to a coaching survey so let's do the customer one first so from the customer's perspective, they'll see an email come through like this. And then at the bottom of their email, they'll see a, 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 um, a question uh, how, asking them how they rate the support they've received. When I click on uh, that, that'll take me through to a landing page. Um, I can give some input here. So I can say uh, great support. And down here, uh, I love your products. Uh, and then they can submit that. Um, and when they submit that, then this will be automatically uh, updated in the ticket. So you can see it's come through, uh, it's automatically converted th th that information through a, to a good uh, satisfaction score using uh, if you're already using Zendesk CSAT ratings. Our notifications app or pop-up notifications has come through letting us know that we've got a good uh, satisfaction that's received. I uh, am um, uh, clicking into the ticket here. We can see that uh, the survey responses have come through. Now the survey uh, app also does push information through to ticket tags. If you want to create workflows, it's pushing information through to uh, ticket fields behind the scenes. And it does have in-app reporting over here. As we can see in the survey app, we'll be able to see that, for example, if we go to the NPS breakdown, we'll be able to see um, that this uh, great support, I love your products, has, has come through. So that's from the customer side of things. From uh, a coaching uh, perspective, uh, rather than sending out a survey, we can simply spit up a sub ticket using our task app. And this is exactly what happened. When we marked the ticket as solved, a sub ticket was created and it was assigned over to the manager's team. So from a manager's perspective, if we jump over here, we'll pretend we're a manager uh, that's um, been assigned this ticket. Um, and we'll be able to see everything that the agent uh, did on this ticket, the entire conversation. We'll also be able to click into the ticket here to see uh, anything uh, you know uh, else that's happened on the ticket, potentially like if there's a survey that's been responded to or what have you. And then on the left-hand side here, uh, we'll be able to fill out this survey. So was the response clear and concise? Was uh, the agent's tone professional and uh, respectful? You know, these are all uh, sim uh, simple uh, Zendesk custom uh, fields on a uh, quality assurance um, specific form. 
um, and and in and being uh, in such a way uh, because it's this this right here is simply native Zendesk functionality. Uh, this makes it very easy for this information to end up over an explore where you can slice and dice the information. So we're going to say they did a top stop uh, top job uh, five out of uh, five, and we'll say uh, you know uh, amazing work. And we'll pop that into all of the fields here, and then we'll complete this. So when we complete this uh, survey, um, then at this point, uh, we can have all of this information pushed back into the original ticket uh, where the, the customer, oh sorry, where the agent is. Um, so if we come back over here, we'll be able to see, hey, we've got um, a response from our coaching survey. We've also got the notify app popping, us, popping it up here. In case we've clicked away and we're on some other ticket, you could be notifying your agents. Look, you've got a coaching survey uh, results in. Uh, go and check out the ticket. Uh, they can read uh, up about, uh, in this case, their amazing work. Um, and or if there's uh, anything wrong uh, or needing improving, then they'll be able to see that uh, for each of their tickets. And being this being a uh, yellow it means it's a private comment. So of course, your customer will never see this. It's only for the agent who's worked on the ticket, and they'll be able to see how they did. Cool. So that is um, around uh, what you can do from uh, an, an, uh, you know the, the the agent survey, the the, um, uh, the, the customer survey. Uh, then uh, we're now on to kind of point three here where we're kind of looking at uh, how we can set our agents up for success. Um, and so what I wanted to show you here is a potential, a potential flow, um, you know, and this is for internal customers. In this case, we're creating a new hire ticket with some information. Uh, but when I create this, coming over to our views here, we have to see that um, this uh, ticket uh, is, is coming in and, and as a result of this ticket being created based on the settings of this ticket we've automatically applied a series of tasks that needs to be done so this could be for any process any type of ticket if there's a certain things that have been set on a ticket when a customer creates it uh, and you want that flow uh, kind of followed through then you could do that uh, and enforce that with the task app so the agents have to come through and check these tasks off um, I can't actually solve this ticket until, uh, I'll just take this, I can't actually solve this ticket until all of these tasks are completed. I can be spinning up sub tickets for things that need to be done by other team members. Uh, you can really create some uh, complex uh, flows here for um, uh, you know, having certain things done. In this case, we're asking for building access uh, and then we're, we've got an approval that's required. So you can, yeah, this is a over the top kind of um, example, but it does show that uh, building process uh, into your uh, uh, tickets uh, can be in, enforced and, and can help make sure that the right things get done. Um, and then uh, from a time-based perspective, uh, you can see here our timers app has kicked into gear as well. So we're uh, measuring the time on this ticket, uh, whether that's the first response uh, SLA and how long we want that to take, uh, whether that's uh, you know the overall time for this ticket to be completed, whether you want to measure how long a ticket has been sitting in a specific department. Uh, and then based on when these timers uh, uh, start um, uh, or uh, end, uh, you can do stuff relative to uh, those time the, the, when the uh, the timer ends. So if um, you know you've got an hour to go for this response time, you might say, "Hey, we're about to meet our first re uh, breach our first response. You better get onto it." You might even consider popping up a notification using our Notify app there to to let the agent know, or sending through a Slack notification. Up to you how you want to do it, but. That the um, the timers app does allow you to build into the, in, into your tickets that workflow to ensure that you do get timely responses. Um, so it's not limited to any specific type of SLA or any type of action. You can start literally start a timer based on any action that takes place on a ticket uh, to when any action uh, uh, happens. Um, so yeah, that's that's there. So. Yeah, that's around uh, setting your agents up for success. Next up, uh, we'll talk about some reporting. So let's have a look. Uh, firstly, we talked about the customer uh, surveys. So uh, over uh, here, of you know, while while we do have surveys in the, uh, the uh, sorry, 
Well, we do have um, reports over in the survey app uh, for allowing you to slice and dice uh, and, and have a look at whatever information, whether you want to see it based on brand or um, uh, simple average scores over for each month and be able to drill into those tickets. If you need more granular reporting than what's available in the survey app, uh, then you can uh, you know, build your own reports over in uh, Zendesk Explore, which allows you to say, you know, create a filter and say, okay, show me the NPS breakdown report um, uh, for all tickets that were assigned to uh, me. That me. Um, so I'll just do a search here and then apply this here. And then um, by applying that uh, user, we can see that the responses have changed. So yes, you can rep report on the survey responses and also, uh, for example, the uh, the coaching surveys. Here's another dashboard uh, allowing you to see, okay, the agent's overall performance, what they were rated out of five. Now this is across the board at the moment. Um, uh, you know, you can be pulling out specific uh, questions. Did the agent demonstrate sufficient knowledge and be able to kind of highlight uh, you know, the no's and the yeses. And then if you wanted to drill into the no's, you, you could always um, click in uh, to the ticket and, and decompose that. Um, or if you wanted to create a table and, and say, okay, well, here's all the, um, the, the, the results uh, across the board for all of the agents and what scores they got. And of course, uh, using the filtering results here, uh, I could actually say, well, uh, show me all of uh, Harriet's uh, tickets. I think I'll have to put in her email address here. Um, and when we select uh, a specific agent, um, that will uh, change the results here to show us that this agent that we're looking at is an exemplary agent. They've, just, they've been getting uh, all great scores. Um, although uh, there was one ticket here, we can see that she wasn't clear and concise. Um, yeah, so uh, of course, this is just a, a sample of what you can do if you wanted to build a, um, a report for every single question that you asked for and be able to kind of figure out whether they did everything uh, successfully, then of, of course, you could do that as well. But uh, yes, it is uh, quite powerful what you can kind of do in regards to reports over in Zendesk Explore. So yeah, that brings us uh, to uh, the end of this video. You can install the Sweethawk apps from the Zendesk Marketplace. Uh, just search for the Sweethawk Super Suite um, and see how you go. Thanks for watching.